Talking about the tax implications of weather-related sales of livestock, and that can be due to drought, flood, other kinds of storms. Well, there's two sets of rules. The first rule applies to all livestock. There are some other pieces of it, but basically it allows you to defer the income recognition for one year for sales in excess of normal. So what you look at is what your normal practice of actual livestock sales on a year to year basis, anything in ex excess of that amount can then be moved into the following year, which would have normal, normally been the year of recognition. The second rule applies to breeding livestock and draft dairy breeding. And what you've got there is the ability to postpone the recognition by electing to repurchase, replace those animals within a period of time without presidential or dec declarations from the president or secretary of ag, you have two years to buy those animals back. With the, other, with the presidential declarations, you have four years to buy them back. So you have to buy back as many dollars as what you sold, and by doing so, then you basically postpone recognition again until those new animals are sold. With the deferral of the income, that's on all livestock for one year, basically there's some pieces uh, that you have to follow. One is you have to have primary income from farming, which is fairly simple to verify. You also then have to uh, show that the area was declared a drought area. And then what you do is make sure you go back typically about three to four years. You look at what your normal sales are. And again, compare this year's sales total or this year of drought to the total and then compare that to what history has shown as average or normal. And then that becomes the amount you defer, and that's under the code section 451E. The other issue becomes where you're postponing the gain by replacing animals. Now, if we typically have two years for replacing those animals, and it has to be like kind for, or like use, in other words, breeding for breeding, and in that scenario, you've got two years to buy them back. So if you sold 100,000 in excess of normal, you have to buy back 100,000. Doesn't matter how many head that is, but it's $100,000 worth of animals. Once you buy those animals back, you put them into the depreciation schedule and basically treat the carryover or the amount that was postponed, that becomes your value or your basis for the future. And when those animals are sold, then we take care of the tax consequences later. So that could be anywhere from four to five to six years down the road. For additional information, uh, we have a fact sheet through Oklahoma State University, Extension Fact talks about weather-related sales of livestock, so they go to the fact sheet section and search for weather-related sales and you can find all the information we've just talked about.